In this tutorial, I show you how to create and configure a layout that we can use in a page template. Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a layout in Psycho. We will create a CSHTML file and we will link it with a Psycho layout. So let's see how to do it in Psycho. First, we need to create a CSHTML file in the views folder. I will call this file the content page, as this will be the file that we will use in Psycho when we create the Psycho layout for the content page. This file is a MVC view and we will inherit from the shared layout file that we will create in the shared folder. So we will inherit from views shared underscore layout.cshtml. And in the content page layout, we will define two cycle placeholders, the hero and the page content. Now we can save it and create the shared layout. So let's create this file underneath the shared folder and name it underscore layout.cshtml. This file has a standard HTML structure that can be reused on other page layouts. So in this file, we can add links to CSS files, JS files, and I'm also going to add two site code placeholders here, as I want all my pages to have the header and the footer. So I will add two site code placeholders to the shared layout. And we need to remember to add render body in order to include information from the content page. We also need to include Psycho MVC namespace. Once that's done, we can log into Psycho and create an item below the layout folder, layouts, and PWE. Let's name it content page. And in the path field, I will define a path to the file we've created. This is a path to the content page CSHTML file, not to the underscore layout file from the shared folder. We will be using this layout in the content page template. We will be configuring it on the standard values of the page template because we want to add this layout to all items created from this template. The all items that represent pages need to have a layout configured. If you are new to Sitecore and you would like to find out more about page templates and standard values, you can find links to these tutorials on the screen and in the description. In this tutorial, we've seen how to create a layout CSHTML file. We've inherited from the shared layout. And finally, we've assigned this file to the site call layout. As I mentioned during this tutorial, you can find out more about standard values and page templates in my other videos. I'll put all the links on the screen and in the description below. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name is Piotr Wegner and see you next time.